Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. So this morning, we're just going to kick back, okay? Kick back and let's make some coffee. I think I'm just going to use my Fellow Stack X this morning from Fellow. And then I'm going to be using my... Uh, I got a new paper. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan is our resident coffee expert here in our Discord channel. So it's called a uh, trapezoid, okay? As you can see, we got the flat on the top and flat on the bottom. So this, this is a trapezoid paper. So this is very similar to the the fellow uh, stack paper. Very similar, okay? Flat bottom there, but this paper uh, pretty straight on the sideways, okay? So uh, we are going to use this paper uh, and I do have some coffee left from last November from Coffee Bracket Challenge. So it's uh, so, th so this is like I have no idea what this is. It's a so this one is like experimental uh, geisha, I believe. Okay, shout out to Jackie. I think I'm gonna be brewing about 15 gram here. I hope it's still good. And uh, I think I'm gonna be using my EK43. And see, okay, see what kind of tasting note we're gonna get out of it. By the way, we are doing the simulcast again this morning. We have a Discord set up right here. People are watching from Discord. So if you are interested to join us, uh, let me know. Okay, let me know. And I'm gonna put the link down below. And also make sure to join the live chat as well. We got some few people on right now. We got, okay, we have our regular people on. We got Morgan, Super23. Master MZ. Okay, we have also we have a hashtag as well. Okay, hashtag. Anyway, uh, so far so good with our internet connection. So hopefully it's gonna be keep going. Okay. Uh, hashtag, hashtag just asked me, can you ask San Anthony for give your viewers a discount? Okay, BT Wedge, BT Tours. Uh, let me ask them. Uh, I think we did that. Uh, we did that last year. I think we did like twenty. What you, was it? Twenty-five or fifteen percent up for like one week period. So you know what? Let me ask them because I know. I think we did that for Father's Day special, right? So I think we might do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, let me ask Saint Anthony. So get uh, get you guys. Hopefully, get you guys a discount code. So this morning again, we're gonna be playing with. Fellow stack X well, with a trapezoid uh, paper. So this is all ready to go. I got 15 grams of geisha. Man, the size of the beans, guys. Look at the size of it. This thing is huge. Okay. This is like oversized coffee beans here compared to. Hold on, let me show you the comparison. This thing is massive. Let me open up some. Hold on a second here, guys. So one bad thing about the fully automatic. Hold on. Let me open up to the other one. It's not working at the moment. So, I'm, uh, if you're just joining us, I'm sh showing you the difference between this geisha okay versus so this is like goodness look at the size okay hold on hopefully I can show you guys hold on check this out guys so this is one from uh, uh, my friend Jackie okay and so this is regular coffee beans look at the size difference That doesn't mean it's going to be better, okay? It's definitely different for sure, so. I cannot wait to try this coffee this morning. All right. Okay, so let's get going, okay? I'm going to be... So what if I use my uh, EK43? I highly recommend use a, a RDT, okay? RDT means Ross Droplet Technique. I know a lot of people use a spray bottle. I'm not a big fan of it. 
just gonna I like to use spoon couple drops here just drop of the water that's it it's gonna get right off the static This thing is so powerful. I believe this one has two horsepower. Okay. By the way, so this uh, I got this on last November, so December, January, February, March. Man, four months old coffee beans. All right, I'm just going to. So I'm going to be using a uh, 1 to like 15 ratio. So I got 18 gram in and that's like 225 out. Okay. I'm just going to hit up my paper first. Just make sure I'm just going to everything is all nice and flat inside. Okay. nice and flat just work it I think I'm not doing exactly correct but you know what close enough I'm just gonna make it nice and even here okay I'm just I'm going to start my timer. I'm going to start with about 40 grams of water. And I'm just going to wait, just swerve it, just make sure removed all the CO2s, degas. I like to wait about 40 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna wait about another second or so, about 32 right now. But meantime, uh, welcome to the live streaming. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna go all the way up to 85 gram. I'm going to do uh, two more pulls and that's it. I'm going to wait till one minute and 20 seconds. And then I'm going to do another pull. And then I'm going to go up to 225. I think I'm going to do a couple more here. Go up to 130 here. And then I'm gonna wait till 145. And then I'm gonna do the finish up the pull. Go all the way up to 225. It's nice and easy. Something about pull over though, very therapeutic. Okay. Very terrible. Okay. And then I'm going to do the finer stir. And that, that's it. And then uh, comes the extraction time. I like to be between like three and three and a half minutes as total extraction. And so let's see how it goes to here. And we're just going to wait. All right. Okay. Okay, if you are new to the channel, welcome to 
live streaming. It is a lot of fun, okay? It is a lot of fun, especially doing the brew coffee in the morning. It's nothing like it. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, Steven asks, any coupon code for Bravo Tempers? I do not have code for that, okay? Uh, let me ask. You know what? Maybe I'm going to reach out to Gilberto, okay? So Gilberto is, uh, he's the, actually, he's the inventor for Bravo Tempers. So. Yeah, definitely. All right. I think we are right on time here. Got three minutes and 23 seconds, 25 here. Uh, we are pretty much finished brewing. Looks pretty good. Okay. Looks right on time. So, yeah, I got the beautiful flatbed on the bottom. Brewery is success. And I like to cool down a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to store it for now. By the way, let me know in the comment section what is your favorite brewing method? Okay. And uh, so uh, let's see. D Trojan asked me, Triclet, what's. Okay. The difference between Triclet and any other brew, Triclet is high yield uh, 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 extract, extraction. So I only use about 10 gram. So uh, Triclet is about 1 to 20 to 22 ratio. So 10 gram in around 220 gram out. Uh, comes to like Fellow Stack X or V60 or any other method. The standard is around 1 to 15. So you have to use more coffee to get, you know, get the best coffee out of it. So I guess if you have very high-end coffee, very expensive coffee, you don't want to waste too much, uh, try the, you know, triclet. Because you only, you know, need to use about 10 grams. So, okay, cheers, guys. I have no idea what's the tasting notes on this one. So, I cannot wait to try this one. It's, again, it's about four months old coffee. Okay, hold on. Come through Jasmine. Okay, I can taste the Jasmine there. Jasmine and what else? Some kind of fruit. <clears throat> I taste some fruit there as well. Definitely strong jasmine. <clears throat> Definitely different. Okay. The fact is this thing is only what already four months old, so it's not the same. Okay. But you know what? In my channel, we don't waste coffee, so we're trying to drink it. Good. Anyway, not the best. Okay, not the best. Anyway, uh, I'm I'm looking at the let's say Jimmy ask. He said, "How would you clean your coffee machine every time?" Okay, so I use uh, especially my Bravo machines. I usually clean right after. Uh, definitely your grip head for sure. So I have this brush, so I definitely clean that too. And and what else? And uh, definitely I follow the schedule. Whenever your light turns on for descaling or clean me cycle I do it so that's what I do comes to my uh, Bianca man I, I that's another reason I like to use the puck screen so I like to keep the the grip head clean that's another reason I use the puck screen all the time so keep that clean as well uh, comes to descaling I do like you know one six month or so okay so which means you know so yeah one six months that's about it okay let's see I, i'm looking at your questions here uh, it's a btu ask when did you get the light chip from hatch no i have not okay i still have a luna from uh i have uh, i still have some luna from uh, hatch already so it's been frozen da uh, daniel asks, do you freeze your old beans no i i mean i usually you know leave it on the vacuum canister okay Okay, hold on a second. I think we uh is the retro ask me who have you tried timer crystal eye dripper? Man, by the way, there's so many different drippers out there. No, I haven't tried that one yet. Okay. However, I just got uh hold on. Maybe I can show you. I got the new dripper from Gnomecore. 
Nomcar has a brand new draper as well. So uh, we're going to be trying out this draper next week. All right. Let's see here. We got the uh, uh, Kina something. So, uh, Kina. Okay, say hi. Let's see, what will be good force temper for Bravo Breeze Express? Man, there's only one force temper, okay? That costs you 200 bucks. I, I, I advise you to not to spend money on it, not yet, okay? If you love making coffee, that's your money, but yeah, I mean, goodness, there's no, there's no good force temper. I mean, force temper is, the, okay, so this is force temper. I mean, for, so, they are the one only so this is a one of one of one okay because like bravo temper bravo temper is somehow uh, spring loaded but i know a lot of companies are copying their design so they got quite a few companies copying it okay a lot so when it comes to force temper you only have one option so yeah Unfortunately, you are out of, you know. Unfortunately, you have to, if you want a first temper type of uh, uh, tools, yeah, you you only have one. I think I think that's pretty good. Hold on. Uh, Retro ask, uh, what about the uh, gnome core uh, temper and distributor combo? They are pretty decent. Okay, if you if you don't want to spend too much money, they are a good option as well. Damian asks, have you tried Portman Temper for 54 millimeter? I have not. I have not tried it yet. Because they're like 140 bucks, I think. Okay. If you're spending 140 bucks, hold on a second here. So this is uh, the Temper from San Antonio Industry. Uh, 89 bucks. Okay, I'd better yet, uh, get the Model B. That's the... Uh, has a magnet on the top, you can actually replace the Bravo Temper with the Model B. I think it, they're, they're 89 bucks. I think I prefer that one over Pullman. Hold on a second. Uh, Detroit and ask which grinder that gives you the best clarity? Obviously, EK43 give you a really good clarity because there are 98 millimeter flat bar inside. Man, that thing is really clear. But it's, uh, the fact is not everybody likes clarity. So, sometimes you need to have that balance, have some texture as well. So all, all depends. All depends. Okay. So this copy has been cooled down for the last few minutes. So let's try one more time. Now I can taste it, that jasmine pops. If I'm going to give it to you guys, this coffee right now, you're not going to tell this is coffee. This tastes like tea. Okay. Did I say earlier it's not the best? For now, this is just like jasmine tea. Man, completely different. Completely different. Um, that's the great thing about coffee though. So, I mean, if you guys want to try new uh, coffee, make sure, definitely check out uh, Ethiopia. Okay, I highly recommend Ethiopia. Give you the fruity, very in a light body. Kind of like, I don't want to say sour, but you know, definitely different, okay? Definitely unique experience for you. So definitely try out the Ethiopia. If you haven't tried it yet, highly recommend it. Let's see here. Okay, I think hashtag mentioned about the niche. Niche Jero is good enough for home use. I mean, niche is more than good enough, guys. They are fantastic for all around coffee brewing method. So, I think, uh, by the way, it's been a very interesting week. Okay, did you hear about the Bravo bought out the Lillette? company so Lillet makes Lillet Bianca Marat X I think there are quite a few okay they makes a lot of coffee uh, they're a great coffee uh, gear company so Bravo bought out Lillet I know they bought out the uh, uh, Brazza uh, last year or year before 
So who knows? Well, I don't know what's next. Uh, Bravo has the great entry level machine and also mid range and a high end machine. And the EB, very interesting to see the Bravo uh, added the Bratza, the grinder technology to the Bravo Express or Pro, even Oracle model. Man, it's going to be. It's gonna be a game changer for sure. It's gonna be definitely a game changer. Shout out to Richard from France. Man, we are truly international here, guys. Okay. I wonder the ha hashtag says it's gonna be Bravo or Bianca. I don't think so. I mean, most likely not. Okay. I'm hoping they're not gonna mess it up the Lillette brand, okay? Sometimes a lot of big company take over the smaller company and mess things up, but I hope not. Okay, I hope not here. Okay, we got the D Trojan mentioned about the BB Goodness. Okay. Anyway, great Saturday morning. I, I love Saturday morning. Just kick back, brew some coffee. I'm, I'm looking at your live questions right now. By the way, if you are if you need help with your coffee machine, especially Bravo Barista Express, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below for a Discord channel. So make sure you join our Discord. We have a lot of experts on Discord, so they are going to help you out. Okay, they're eager to help you guys out. Uh, free to join. You know, we have very fun community. Okay very fun community right now so we got some special event coming up as well we got special event coming up in about what not this weekend but following weekend we're gonna do the chocolate tasting okay we got some really cho uh, high-end chocolate tasting coming up you know uh, if you guys are interested make sure follow me on uh, discord we have uh, we have yeah ask us about the the chocolate tasting event Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. And then, uh, hold on a second, we got Da Rock. Actually, he's going to be joining us as well. He got his chocolate. You know what? Let me show you. Let me show a uh, chocolate uh, we're going to taste. Okay, hold on a second. So, so one of our friends, Steve, he picked out four tasting menu for chocolate here. So this one from uh, Chocolate House in DC. So this is a chocolate newer minute dark chocolate from Akai. Akai? No, I, I can't even pronounce. Okay. 60% cacao. Okay, so that's what we're gonna try it out. And also we have a cacao hunters. Man, look at the size of it. This is tiny. So that's what we're gonna taste. So this one is from Sierra Nevada. What? Hey Steve, is that from where? Cacao hunter. Hopefully. It's, it's not from Nevada. Wait. Guardian of Sierra Nevada. I, I don't know. Anyway, so we are going to testing this uh, chocolate as well. This one is from Maru, uh, Maru Single Origin Dark Chocolate. 74%. Goodness. And then we're going to try another uh, tasting. 60, uh, 66% dark chocolate from Madagascar, okay. Man, so we're gonna try out four different types of, of chocolate coming, because uh, chocolate and coffee kind of like goes well together. So, should be a lot of fun, okay. Should be a lot of fun there. Again, this thing is tiny. And I don't know how many bites I can get out of it, but Again, you know what? Sometimes you have to pay money. Not cheap. So, I guess sometimes what you pay with what you get. Just like coffee though. 
because I mean if you pay goodness uh, the one of my favorite coffee from Hatch from uh, Canada uh, there uh, I think one of my favorite coffees is called Lightsy okay uh, they are go on sale now but they're asking $37 for 200 gram so again I mean it all depends on what you guys want but you know what before you guys jump into spending a lot of money on your coffee just make sure you get to know your coffee first okay just get, you know just make sure this is what you want to spend you know time and money because sometimes we just want a coffee in the morning that's it just coffee in the morning get a good coffee in the morning and go to work and I know some people like us or some people at the Discord right now they love you know brewing coffee so it all depends on what you guys want and the Richard mentioned about the lint you know what I mean lint is my favorite chocolate okay my favorite chocolate so this coffee is uh, this chocolate I never tried this uh, chocolate yet so this um, uh, this is first time I'm gonna be trying the the high-end chocolate here so anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning